Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I got a message for you, and I hope it's genuine enough for you to receive it. In America and across the globe, aside from the weather, the destruction from the storms and the flies, fires and the hurricanes and the tornadoes and everything else that's coming outside, <coughs> the buildings, the property, all falling down, being destroyed, regardless of how much they might have meant to anyone, all of these things are happening, and we the people have uh, reduced our moral standards to the extent that we have our representation in the White House. Now, we want to, many of us who talk about what Donald Trump is doing, how indecent it is, and how childish he is, I want all of America to know that Donald Trump is the voice of America. Donald Trump, let me say it again, is the voice of America. Donald Trump did not walk into that White House. Donald Trump was either elected, and I know many of you say, well, we didn't vote for him. Well, you voted for what you consider the lesser of the evils, and it just so happened that your lesser evil didn't win. But evil did get in. That was the plan, to get evil in, and there was no wall built against evil. There was nothing built to knock evil down. There was so much of all of the stuff that Donald Trump represents right there is us in this country that this is the fruit of it. And right now, as we are looking, talking about this and that, now you recognize that there's a threat out there. There's a threat out there where you've got another country talking just like you. Now, we look at that country and say that that country's crazy and all of that, but the truth of the matter is those people are responding to their situation just like you are responding to yours. They have this man running the country because that's the kind of people they are. We have this man running the country because that's the kind of people we are. Now, many of you think that if a real confrontation comes through that we, the American people, will win because of the reasons that you have given yourself. But I'd like to ask you this. Have you ever gone to the car and turned the switch or pushed the button and the car didn't start? Have you ever heard of a person who had a gun at their head and the trigger was pulled but nothing actually happened? Have you ever heard of a plane falling out of the sky and everybody gets killed and yet one person might walk out unharmed? Have you ever heard about things like this? To hear about things like that lets you know or should allow you to understand that there's a power outside of our understanding that is in operation when we have no idea of its existence. So what I'm basically saying to you, just because we have the biggest power doesn't mean when you push the button it's going to activate. It doesn't mean any of those things. And so why I tell you this is because I want you to think <clears throat> while you are a Republican, one side of the evil, or a Democrat, the other side of the evil. You got moms and fathers. You got children, boys and girls and relatives and cousins and friends and all of these people out here. Now, anything goes wrong and millions and millions of people could lose their life based upon we, the people, who are expressed 100% in Donald Trump. And ladies and gentlemen, when I make this statement, I'm talking about the church as well, who have sat back on their loins trying to represent God when they have no idea of what God is. As a person of God, and I don't mean, with, I'm not going to call you a Christian. I'm going to say a person of God because you Christians aren't even worth having God's name attached to you except God loves you. People of God would not sit back and allow this to happen. It is the responsibility of a person of God to be an ambassador. When you send an ambassador to Washington, an ambassador to another country, they're there to represent you. They're there to keep you informed on what's going on. They're there to keep you aware of what actions are being taken, what actions you need to take. What is that about those of God? Their purpose here is to let the world know. The world knows nothing about heaven. The world doesn't know a thing <clears throat> about peace and prosperity and joy. The world doesn't know a thing about every human being having food, clothing, and shelter. 
the world doesn't know a thing about every individual having access to education, unlimited, unrestricted, and unrestricted. The world doesn't know a thing about everybody <clears throat> on the face of the earth having health care from the womb to the tomb. The world doesn't know anything about everybody having career of their own choosing whereby they can create all of these goods and services that we the people have determined or would determine that we want, desire, and need, and that it is the fulfillment of our dreams. Wherein lies peace, prosperity, and joy. This is the message you should have been thinking, and you would have had heaven instead of the fear of what's going on. But no, Donald Trump is us. Remember this, Donald Trump is us. Now, if you're looking in the mirror and you don't like yourself, then change. Bye-bye.